And of course, gentlemen, as you come to the end of the interview, we're nearly there, don't worry, then we'll let you get back to work. Um, what are your favorite parts about the game itself? I mean, we've all played quite a bit of it. Of course, I'm probably the most rubbish and noobish at the game because I'm still trying to escape this, this prison. But hey, I'll get there, I'll get there. But Grant, for example, you know, what, what is the cherry on the escapist cake for you? The night of the escape, getting all your tools together, uh, staying out of trouble throughout the actual day itself, and then just that two minutes of gameplay of just literally I've got everything. If it was to plan, I'll make it out. It's just quite edge of your seat action. Um, and that's what I think really makes it all sort of bind together. You know, you've been gradually getting everything, getting all your stuff that you need and then literally just that two minutes of frantic yeah. gameplay. That pixelated Rude Goldberg machine right at the end where That's everything it. just has to click together <laughs> so you can get that sweet freedom. And when it does, it's a beautiful moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then when you get caught, you just reload your save. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do a little save scum and go back That's in and it. try again. <laughs> so yeah, that for me is my answer. Awesome. And what about you, Adam? Yeah, I guess the crafting, the crafting, using the everyday objects to kind of make these uh, little tools and bits. I do remember my very first stock mates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just like the kind of posters as well, you know, like create a poster, hide a hole, the kind of classic, you know, prison kind of uh, thing, so yeah. Yeah, less porridge, more prison break style, yeah. 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 <laughs> what about you, Kev? Um, I think it's probably something pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, it's probably just sneaking around at night. There's something when the lights go out, the game <laughs> takes on a different tone and everything seems a little bit naughty, everything seems a little bit cheekier. And because uh, you can't see too far ahead of yourself with the camera, there's always yeah. that danger that a guard's going to come around the corner and push you at the last minute. And yeah, I suppose like you said, Grant, like most, most escapes, or most of my escape attempts take place at night anyway. So it's, it's the right time. It, it is the yeah. right time. Yeah. yeah, under the cover of darkness. <laughs> Um, what about you, James? <laughs> Got to have an air grab. Um, for me, whenever I play, I always end up inadvertently annoying one of the other inmates to the point where they always attack me on sight. <laughs> so I get a lot of satisfaction from knocking them out, seeing <laughs> on them, and yeah. flushing it down the toilet. Just borrowing their, their yeah, stuff yeah. permanently. Yeah, their teddies yeah. down the toilet, <laughs> any belongings, letters from their family. Oh, just, just the small things, yeah. Do you like hiding in lockers as well? That's always good. If somebody's chasing after you and you oh, get yeah. your head kicked in, just nip around the corner and jump into a locker. They've got no idea where you are. It's like you disappeared into thin air. It's magic. Absolute magic. So there we go. So it's gone from, you know, the escape, the craft, into just being horrible and beating up the other inmates. <laughs> So yeah, something for everyone then. And of course, we have to ask you, Chris, because you, what's your favorite bit of the gameplay that you created? Well, I think what Grant said basically sums it up as, you know, the night of the escape. Because uh, I remember when we first was developing it, we first went through that day where we... The first escape? Yeah, that was, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was quite a moment. But uh, yeah, I mean, the fact that you can do silly things like flush people's clothes on the toilets and things. <laughs> It's all good time then. So that wraps up the one year of the Escapist interview. Thank you for joining us and more importantly, thank you for supporting the game. Without you, the Escapist wouldn't be what it is today and we're super excited to take it forward in the future. So from myself, from Chris and the rest of the team, thank you for joining us. Stay awesome. See you next time. All right, so Chris, the camera's off now. You're going to tell us what's happening next with the escapers, right? Yeah, what we're going to do is uh, basically...